Paul White has stated, your life should be a reflection of the condition of your soul. In other words, when our soul is conditioned by the blessings of God, we prosper in what the Lord gives us. When our soul is conditioned by curses, we do not prosper in what the Lord gives us, which is a negative reflection. Um, our lives need to reflect whatever God gives us. One of the things the Lord gives us is money. I can remember a time in my life where I asked God to help me with my finances. I prayed to the Lord, Lord, come into my life and help me with my finances. Please help me to be in control of my money. In the name of Jesus, amen. What the Lord showed me is that I needed money, but that I did not need to love it. He also showed me that I need to be satisfied in whatever the Lord gave me and that I needed to show good courage. He showed me that people needed money, but that they do not need to love it. Everyone needs money. However, we should not love it. You know, Hebrews 13, 5, 6 says, let your way of life be without the love of money, being satisfied with the things which are at hand. For he himself has said, I shall by no means give you up, neither by any means shall I abandon you. So that being of good courage, we say, the Lord is my helper and I will not fear. What shall man do to me? You know, it is by not loving money that we can apply the scripture to our lives. One of the ways we can go live our lifestyle without loving money is not to love money. By not loving money, we can do what God has called us to do to fulfill our God-given purpose. You know, how do we go about doing this? We say no to the love of money. We make the con the choice to say no to the love of money. We need to say no to the love of money because God has told us that we cannot love God and money at the same time. Matthew 6, 24 of the recovery version states, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. We have a choice to make, and that choice should be to say no to the love of money. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, said no to the love of money. Why? Because he ultimately chose to do the Father's will. John 6, 38 of the recovery version states, For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. Jesus Christ ultimately chose the Father's will above the love of money. Like Jesus, we need to choose the Father's will above the love of money as we say no to it. A second way we can live our lifestyle without the love of money is to be satisfied with the things God has already provided us. God is our provider and by accepting his provision, we become satisfied by not loving money. How do we go about doing this? Accept whatever God gives us and be content with those gifts. It is through acceptance and contentment that we can truly be satisfied with what the provision of God, with what the Lord gives us. You know, for example, my cousin was praying to the Lord to give her a new house. She ended up praying to the Lord, saying, Lord, please give me a new house, as the new house I am living in is hard to keep up today. Well, the next day she went out into a neighborhood, into one of the neighborhoods in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, and uh, found some houses for rent. She came across this perfect house for her and her family for rent. Um, the Lord told her, this is the house that I have for you. So she lists the current house that she's living in into the real estate market. And that house ends up selling for four days. In four days. And, um, and, um, uh, four days. So she packs up all her stuff and all her belongings and moves her family into the new house the Lord picked out for her. She thanked God for the provision of God. She was satisfied with the miraculous provision the Lord gave her. A 
third thing that we can do to live our lifestyles without the love of money is to be of good courage. By being of good courage, we are saying to God that we choose not to love money and that we will put our trust in God as our provider. You know, we can pray to God asking for good courage. This is how we apply courage to our lives. We say, Heavenly Father, please give me a courageous heart. Please put into my life good courage. Please help me to have courage into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. It is by praying for good courage that we can have courage in our lives. A friend of mine decided to make prayer an important part of this, an important part of his life. He would schedule his times for prayer, and every Sunday night he would schedule these two-hour prayer meetings, where he would pray for um, for his relationship with God and for other people through intercession. One of those prayers that he prayed was, "Lord, please put courage into my life." I need you more than ever. Allow courage to be in my life as I choose to say no to the love of money. Please give me a courageous heart and also put courage into other people's lives so they can know what it's like to have courage in their life. In the name of Jesus, amen. He asked God, my friend asked God to give him a courageous heart so he can be brave doing God's purpose for his life as he chose to say no to the love of money and to live that lifestyle without the love of money. In my life, I have applied the principles of not loving money. I said no to the love of money by making a daily decision to say no to the love of money. I chose to be satisfied in the provision of God by making myself available to his gifts and what the Lord wanted to give me. I chose to show good courage by praying every day for courage so that I would walk in it. If I can apply these principles, I know you can too. You can make the daily decision to say no to the love of money. You can be satisfied by making yourself available to the gifts that he wants to give you and thanking God for the Lord's provision. You can be of good courage by praying every day for courage and everything as you say no to the love of money by doing these things you can truly live a lifestyle without the love of money amen and amen